Yo everybody, my name is Chris Puncelon. Welcome back to another video. Yes, I got braces and yes, my teeth still get stuck while I'm speaking, so please excuse that. I just released a new dollar sample pack, so in this video, I'm gonna show you the process of making one of the samples. But before we get into that, I wanna shout out today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. I was really hesitant to make this video about Skillshare because I'm a YouTuber and there are millions of free videos on YouTube, but after trying their service out, uh, I can see how this service would be beneficial for some of you. So Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in music production, podcasting, graphic design, animation, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are perfect for you and your goals. Uh, currently, I'm doing the one with uh, the legendary mixing engineer and DJ, Young Guru. Uh, he's worked with artists like Jay-Z, uh, Beyonce, Kanye, Drake, and tons of other artists. And the thing that I enjoy so much about Skillshare is that the, the topics are broken down into different sections. So you learn them in sequence instead of uh, going on YouTube and typing in mixing tutorials and you'll get a bunch of random tutorials, sometimes from other creators. And it's really hard to have a grasp on mixing because it's not taught in order. And I think that's what I really, really enjoy about Skillshare. If you're interested, I left a link in the description. The first 500 people that click the link and sign up get the first two months free. The first two months are free if you click the link in the description. Shout out to Skillshare. Thank you guys for helping pay the bills. So the first thing I worked on for this sample was the chord progression and usually when I'm coming up with chord progressions I can hear something in my head so I'll play around until I find that chord and then I'll move on to the next and sometimes I'll find it instantly and other times it'll take me like 30 minutes. So whenever I'm coming up with the bass line, I like to pull up the chord progression MIDI so I could see what the root notes are. And once I get comfortable with the root notes and have them memorized, then it's a lot easier for me to come up with the bass line. Pulled up another road sound, added a bunch of delay and reverb, and then I started sprinkling in some notes for some texture until I found the right ones. So right here, I was just gonna play some extra chords to layer the main chord progression, but to save time, I just copied and pasted the MIDI from the main chord progression down to this and then edited the notes a little bit. So my process with adding vocal chops is similar to how I approach adding melodies or chord progressions or even my own vocals to a beat. I'll just duplicate the layers over a bunch of times and I'll start recording until I find something I like. I 
edit the trumpet using session horns and then later I layer this with another horn set from session horns uh, which is one of my favorite VSTs it's by contact uh, it's a contact library so for those who keep asking it's called session horns session horns session horns <laughs> And that's pretty much the entire sample. Uh, if you wanna take a listen to all the samples that are in this dollar sample pack, that's linked in the description. Also linked in the description is Skillshare. Sign up if you are uh, if you want the first two months free. Hopefully this doesn't bother you too much. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.